Hey Mason fans, this is Jonathan Cooper and as we end another week of learning here at Mason City Schools, I wanted to just come to you and I want to hit pause. Usually we give updates around the district and what's going on, but this week I just want to have a, uh, a family conversation together and I want to recognize a few things. First of all, there was a tragedy that happened in Middletown and we want our, just our hearts go out to them, our prayers go out to their families and, and I am so grateful that we were able to play a small part in supporting the students during this week by sending our therapy dogs and our counselors and our mental wellness team to support their teachers and, and that's what we do as community members and neighbors. But you know the tragedy has not just happened in Middletown. This week we were actually impacted by a tragedy as well and the tragic events that have happened here at Mason um, have impacted us all and, um, and a lot of times we search for answers. Why did this happen? And oftentimes there are not answers, not easy answers, but there is support. And we are so grateful because we have support systems here at Mason City Schools. We've invested carefully in making sure that we have a mental wellness team, that we have counselors trained, that we have therapists, that we have partnerships, not just for our students, but for our staff and for our families. And so if you would need something, just know that we are here for you. And if your kids need that, let us know. We're here to support. And as we, and I, I'm just so proud of our, our community, and I'm so proud of our Comet culture because, you know, this is Say Something Week, and we've been celebrating that at our high school and talking about it, and that's exactly what happened in this case. I'm so proud of those that are involved because they took action right away, and it's, it's helped provide the support that was needed in the moment to protect individuals. And so we'll continue to do that. So just remember, as we talk about difficult things like this, whether it's mental illness and taking the stigma away from that and having open, honest conversations as a community, or it's just how we support each other in difficult times and how we talk to our kids, remember that we have each other. And the power of a community is leaning on each other and supporting each other through these times. So as we go into the weekend, think through how do you support not just your kids, but your neighbors and look for ways to connect in that way. We'll see you next week.